Hi friends, this is the first video from Learn Vocabulary Through Grouping Technique for GRE, GMAT, SAT. In this video, we are going to discuss all the words related to insult, tease or reduce to a lower level. Right? So, all the words falling under this category will be discussed in a single go. There are 29 such words falling under this category. So, you can learn all these 29 words as a group. Let's get started. Our first word is a base. Second word, belittle. Third, disparage. Fourth, debase. Fifth, depreciate. Sixth, deprecate. Seventh, demean. Eighth, abash. Ninth, jeer. Tenth, lampoon. Eleventh, ridicule. Twelfth, pillory. Thirteenth, bullless. Fourteenth, caricature. Fifteenth, bandy. Sixteenth, derision. Seventeenth, mortify. Eighteenth, affront. Nineteenth, deride. Twenty, badinage. 21st ape, 22 emulate, 23 pastiche, 24 scoff, 25 goad, 26 banter, 27 chaff, 28th jibe, 29th obloquy. Now let's learn the meanings of words individually. Our first word is abase. Abase is a verb meaning to degrade or humiliate. Our next word is belittle. Belittle is a verb meaning to disparage or to depreciate or to lower someone's dignity. So belittle means insult. Our next word is disparage. Disparage means belittle. So belittle and disparage are one and the same. So disparage means to lower someone's dignity. Example, do not disparage anyone's contribution. These little gifts add up to large sums. So Disparage means to belittle or to degrade or to ignore someone wantedly, right? Because you treat them very unimportant and very much lower to your status. So that is disparage. Our next word is debase. Debase means to reduce to a lower state. Example, don't debase yourself. Our next word is depreciate. Depreciate has uh, three different usages. All the three means one and the same. But the usages are a bit different. Our first usage is uh, to decrease in value or price. Okay, The opposite of this meaning will be appreciate. So depreciate means uh, to decrease in value whereas appreciate means uh, to increase in value. So depreciate means to decrease in value or price. Example, new cars depreciate in value quickly. Second usage is to reduce the value of something over time, especially for tax purposes. Example, com company computers are depreciated at 50% per year. Our third usage is to make something seem unimportant. That is the meaning of depreciate. Third usage for depreciate is to make something seem unimportant. Example, I feel those who depreciate the importance of art in education are tasteless. Our next word is deprecate. Deprecate is a verb meaning to express disapproval of or to protest against or to belittle. Okay, if you don't like something, you generally tend to oppose it with a negative opinion, right? With an opinion of the other being very lower to your status or not up to your taste. So with that intention, if you oppose something, that is called deprecate. So deprecate as a verb means express disapproval of because you consider them to be unworthy. So express disapproval of or to protest against or to belittle is called deprecate. Our next word is demean. Demean is a verb meaning to degrade or to humiliate. Example, he felt that he would demean himself if he replied to the scurrilous letter. Our next word is abash. Abash is a verb meaning to embarrass. Example, he was not at all abashed by her open mockery. Okay, that is abash. Our next word is jeer. Jeer means to laugh at someone or to shout unkind things at them in a way that you show that you do not respect them. Example, you know I am right, she jeered. Second example, the president was booed and jeered by a crowd of uh, protesters. Okay, So, another example, fans jeered at the referee. 
So jeer at is the proper usage. Okay, jeer at. Now jeer means to laugh at someone or to shout unkind things at a, at someone in a way that shows you do not respect them. So that is you are mocking them, mockery. Okay. Now the examples are very important. You know I am right. She jeered. Second example: the president was booed and jeered by the by a crowd of uh, protesters. Our next word is lampoon. Lampoon means to ridicule, and it is a verb, right? So the example of lampoon is: this article lampoons the pretensions of some movie moguls. Our next word is ridicule. Ridicule can be a noun as well as a verb. Ridicule means an unkind laughter or remarks that are intended to make someone or something seem stupid. Example: the ridicule of his peers. Another example: he had become an object of ridicule among the other teachers. So ridicule means to make someone seem foolish, okay, or stupid. Our next word is pillory. Pillory is a verb meaning punished by placing in a wooden frame or subject someone to severe criticism or and ridiculing right so pillory means you know this uh, jesus christ lord jesus christ was pillory he was tied to this cross uh, and punished okay so the, he was pilloried our next word is burlask burlask means it is a verb meaning give an imitation that ridicules Right, bullas means give an imitation that ridicules. Example: In his caricature, he bullas the mannerisms of his adversary. So, in his caricature, our next word is caricature. So, what is the meaning of caricature? Caricature is a noun. Caricature means distortion. Right? If you don't like some things, you tend to distort them. Right? Distort the facts or distort the figures. So, that is caricature, distortion or bullas. So example of caricature is the caricatures he drew always emphasized the personal weaknesses of the people he bullied. So you can see the caricatures in the newspapers right the cartoons which tend to ridicule some popular politicians or some uh, uh, popular persons right in a negative way. Our next word is bandy. Bandy means discuss lightly or exchange blows or words. So if two persons are bandying they are exchanging the words in a friendly manner right they are insulting or they are teasing each other so bandy words means discuss lightly or exchange jokes right the example of bandy is the president refused to bandy words with the reporters at the press conference so bandy means discuss lightly or to exchange blows or words or to insult one another right in a friendly manner Our next word is derision. Derision means to ridicule. You know the meaning of ridicule, right? So derision means to ridicule. Example: They greeted his proposal with derision and refused to consider it seriously. Because they refused to consider it seriously because they feel they felt that it is of lower quality, right? So derision means to ridicule. Our next word is mortify. Mortify means to humiliate or to punish the flesh. Mortify means to humiliate emotionally or to punish the flesh physically. Example: She was so mortified by her blunder that she ran to her room in tears. Our next word is affront. Affront means to insult or to offend. Example: Accustomed to being treated with respect, Mr. Charlie was. affronted by the crowd okay by the crowd so affront means to insult affront means to insult now i would like to discuss this word again see here bandy as we discussed earlier bandy means to exchange blows or words in a friendly way that is one meaning the another meaning of bandy is uh, to argue with someone okay to argue with someone so the usage will be bandy words with somebody if you're banding words with somebody you are actually arguing with them right now there is one more meaning for bandy bandy something about or to bandy something around means to mention an idea name remarks etc 
several times especially in order to seem impressive see here you should know both the meanings of bandy bandy means exchanging words in a friendly manner or to argue or to repeat something continuously so that you want to uh, you, you want to make that thing seem very impressive right so these are called phrasal verbs bandy words okay bandy words is a different uses or bandy something about is a phrasal verb right bandy something about means to make several attempts to make something look very impressive example many names have been bandied about so you have to memorize this bandy about means the second meaning which we discussed now so many names have been bandied about in the press as the manager's replacement right our next word is deride deride means to make remarks or jokes that show that you think someone or something is silly or useless so deride means mocking our next word is badinage badinage is a noun meaning teasing conversation a teasing conversation is called a badinage example her friends at work greeted the news of her engagement with cheerful badinage okay so badinage means it is a verb meaning a teasing conversation next word is ape ape is a noun meaning imitate or mimic it can be used as a verb as well so aping okay ape means to imitate or mimic you know a few apes mimic your actions right so ape means to mimic or imitate example he was suspended for a week because he had aped the principal in front of the whole school here you see this has a negative connotation ape means imitate in a negative manner it has it carries a negative connotation our next word is emulate emulate is a verb meaning to imitate or rival now emulate is different from simulate emulate means to imitate okay example as long as our political leaders emulate the virtues of the great leaders of this country we shall flourish that is emulate emulate means to imitate or uh, to follow something right emulate whereas simulate means to make or produce something that is not real but has the appearance or feeling of being real that is simulate example a mission simulates a mission that simulates conditions in space okay example zero gravity we can simulate that uh, uh, zero gravity using missions as well right that is simulating or simulate also means to pretend to have a feeling example he found it impossible to simulate grief so emulate is different simulate is different so emulate means to do something or behave in a way as someone else especially because you admire them so this emulate is a positive connotation okay if you emulate someone you follow them whereas ape carries a negative connotation ape means to imitate emulate means to do something uh, as uh, like others whom you admire very much right so that is emulate example of emulate we have already discussed our next word is pastiche pastiche is a noun meaning imitate uh, of another style in musical composition or in writing so imitating someone uh, in music or in their writings okay so pastiche is like uh, it's a copying right so imitating someone our next word is scoff scoff is a verb meaning to mock or ridicule example he scoffed at a dentist until he had his first toothache so scoff means to deride or to mock or to ridicule our next word is goad goad is a verb meaning to make someone do something by annoying or encouraging them until they do it right so prod means uh, to provoke prod is equal to to provoke or i'll add a 30th word here that is prod so goad or prod or one and the same now let us learn this word goad goad means to make someone do something by annoying or encouraging them until they do it so provoking someone or somebody right to do something now there is a proper usage for this goad the usage is goad someone into doing something okay you remember this uses writing these kind of usages in your ava section will definitely give you an edge over 
right so goad somebody into doing something example kathy goaded him into telling her what had happened also goad has a second meaning it means to push animals ahead of you with a sharp stick now let us learn this word prod prod is a verb meaning to quickly push something or someone with your fingers or a pointed object so that is called poke poking someone okay example don't go to sleep she said prodding me in the ribs right and there is a second usage of prod means to make someone do something by persuading or reminding them that it is necessary especially because they are lazy or unwilling okay when they are lazy or unwilling example the strike may prod the government into action i told you this uses prod someone into doing something right or goad someone into doing something it's one and the same prod and goad are one and the same so the government the strike may prod the government into action okay so we are done with prod goad uh, poke provoke all these are done our next word is banter 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 do not confuse banter with bandy almost the one and the same banter means uh, uh, a good natured ridiculing okay banter means a good natured ridiculing is a positive word banter example they resented his bantering remarks because they misinterpreted his teasing as sarcasm right so banter means a good natured ridiculing our next word is chaff we have two words one is chaffing chaffing this is an adjective chaffing is an adjective where chaff is a noun you should know both the words chaffing as an adjective means bantering or joking remarks okay chaffing means bantering or joking so we can say that the chaffing remarks so which are chaffing remarks means joking remarks example sometimes his flippant and chaffing remarks annoy us so chaffing means bantering or joking whereas chaff as a noun it means a worthless products of an endeavor so a chaff is also considered a worthless person or a foolish person so chaff means something considered worthless example when you separate the wheat from the chaff be sure you throw out the chaff which is chaff which is useless okay so chaffing and chaff you should know both the words so both are entirely different again chaffing and chaff our last word for this lecture is obloquy obloquy is a noun meaning slander or disgrace okay disgrace so obloquy means a very strong offensive criticism see how i'm stressing this word obloquy is a very negative word it means very strong offensive criticism or loss of respect and honor for someone right so example of obloquy is i resent the obloquy that you are casting upon my reputation so this is it for this lecture i hope uh, you enjoyed the session you should learn all these 30 words in a single go along with their meanings and the nuances right i even i discussed the nuances as well the word carrying multiple meanings and the subtle differences this this is what really helps you in your exam if you like the content of this lecture please do share this video also you can write in the comments what you are actually expecting in coming in my coming videos right thank you